You're welcome to our learning session for Magento 2, Inventory Management or How to Manage the Stock in Magento 2. Inventory management involves a good investment for stocking, ordering and utilizing the raw materials, along with controlling the final products that are readily available for purchase. Considerable financial concerns can arise for the mismanagement of inventories in online stores. But this can be easily combated with Magento 2, which offers the option for inventory management at both the levels, that is store, as well as on the individual product level. In the present video, I'm going to focus on general inventory settings as a whole for the entire cart, along with some options for products. Do stick for our next video as well for knowing how to configure advanced inventory management for individual products. So let's step ahead. With our inventory management for entire cart, right? We are logging into the admin panel. Now we have to go to the stores from here. And then we have to go to this configuration. Click on this. Now you have the present screen for configuration. Scroll down further and expand this catalog tab. You see on the left bar you are having catalog having the second option of inventory click on this clicking on this you will be getting two options let me minimize it for you see you're having two options stock options and product stock options these both options are going to help us with inventory management so under stock options we are having our first option to be considered Set item status to be in stock when order is cancelled with two options of yes or no. Well, this enables the Magento 2 to place the cancelled items back in the stock once selected as yes. So, the stock count gets replenished by the count of the cancelled items. We have selected yes for our instance. Okay. Now, the second tab is talking for decrease the stock when order is placed. Well, this will enable the Magento 2 to order decrease the quantity of a stock once the order is placed. We are selecting yes, and we are having the second option as no as well, so you can select as per your requirement. Third option is of display the out of stock products. Yes. Now, this will enable us to hide or display the products that are not available in stock with the option of no or yes, respectively. Okay. In our instance, we have selected no, so it will hide the out of stock products. Okay. Next, we are having only X left threshold. Well, this will add this expression to all your products, where X is the number which will be, will be entering here. Okay, so we will be configuring this number individually for all our products. We are leaving this option as 5. Okay, only for our instance. So system will give us alert that when only 5 products are left in the stock. Okay, now next I have my last stock option of display the product availability in stock on storefront. Now this also is coming with two options, right? So this, when selected as yes, will enable us to display the products available in the stock on the product page with this easy yes option, yes. And we can doing the same thing if it is not required with the no option, right? So whether you want to display the products or whether you don't want to display the products, whether it is in the stock on the storefront, you can just select the yes or no as per your requirement. We are selecting yes. Right? Now we are done with the stock option. Moving ahead. Next fire the moment is product stock options. You see here. See the title? Right? So we need to pay attention for the fact that these options will work individually for products done for the entire card. It's written under the title here you can see. Right? So, our first option under the product stock option is manage stock. Here we can see the first option is manage stock, which is by default it is enabled, right? It helps us to know the products in the stock. We can also disable with 
and saying no right if we have a product range where stock does not matter well for example your downloadable products or your custom made product which are always manufactured on order we are selecting yes in our instance that is managing the stock next option we are having is of back orders yes in the back orders we have three choices first there's no back orders which does not allow placing orders for products that are out of stock whereas we are having allow quantity below zero well, that will be placing the order with the negative inventory and allowing the quantity below zero and notify the customer will place the order with negative inventory as well as it will automatically notify your customers that they may proceed out with checkouts okay so we are selecting no back orders in our instance moving ahead i have this option of maximum quantity allowed in the shopping cart right now it helps us to set the maximum number of products that can be allowed in one shopping cart okay i'm gonna select that as thousand great right next i'm having out of stock threshold well this will determine when a product need to be ordered okay i've gone for zero then next is minimum quantity allowed in their shopping cart now this is the minimum number of the products which will be required to place an order it also have an advanced option you can see here of setting the different limits for the different groups the groups you can see here are not logged in general wholesale retailer right for different groups of the customer you can define here the minimum quantity here for the customer you can even delete the action if you don't need or you can add one more the group thing you can select the quantities and the customer groups and add on or you can delete the options if you don't need this okay next we are having to notify for the quantity below well this is basically uh, it's giving me the notifications whensoever a number of products trickles down the set limits we have selected one in our instance you can have your selection as per your requirement Stepping ahead, I have enable quantity increment. Well, this is to sell your products only in the desired set of quantities. Example, if I select yes here, I will be having the quantity increments I can set as 3, I can set as 4, 2, whatever you wish to, or like 12, 24. So customer will be able to purchase this product only in the quantities specified by admin. Okay. So we are selecting as no here right the moment then we are stepping ahead to automatically return the credit memo you see here the last option automatically return the credit memo item to stock the enabling this option automatically will get an out of stock status for products when they return the back to the card after canceling the order we have selected no in our instance so what's next next is your turn to get this general settings for inventory management to be done for entire cart along with some individual options for products don't forget to stick to our next video for advanced inventory management for individual products hold on what if you get stuck somewhere <laughs> relax and get in touch with us for all your magento queries as well as magento services at magento at the rate of metrid.net let your Magento store magnetize your store to allure more customers with our easy Magento help. Have a great time. Take care.